so we recently received a donation from a private individual who had this many tarantulas as, the, as their own personal pets. Um, and this person was no longer able to look after these tarantulas, so uh, they contacted us. And once I saw the list of species that there were, I realized that some of these have some potential for uh, outreach, and some of them have some potential for display. Uh, so we said, yeah, yeah, we'll take them for sure. So this is not a regular thing. Once in a while, we might receive one single tarantula at a time, maybe from a kindergarten teacher, or uh, often somebody who has um, gone away to college and not come back for their tarantula and left their mom to look after it. Uh, this is the first time I have ever adopted this many tarantulas at once from a single person. Some of them are a little bit more um, common, shall we say bread and butter tarantulas, things like Mexican red knee tarantulas and Chilean rose hairs, which are really quite common and excellent beginner tarantulas. In fact, one of, one of those species was my first tarantula. Uh, some of the other ones are, like we have a couple of salmon pink bird eaters, which get to be quite large, um, as the name suggests, uh, and a number of ornamentals, uh, baboons, and uh, so some of these are old world tarantulas. The, the ornamentals come from the Indian subcontinent. They're absolutely beautiful, but they have a really nasty attitude. They're not good to handle, and they actually pack a fair wallop. There's no such thing as a tarantula that can kill a person, but there are tarantulas that can put you in the hospital, and that is these definitely fall into that category. I've been working with tarantulas uh, for almost 20 years, and I've never been bit by a single one of them. I cannot say that for rainbow trout, for snakes, cats, dogs, hamsters, birds, even humans. Um, so the trick is, is just because they have that nasty reputation doesn't necessarily mean they want to hurt you.